Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about using frog jumps to subtract decimal numbers. Alright, so I have an example already done for you, and it's 2.48, take away 0 0.86. And you can see that I've got a number line along here, and there's only basically two numbers on the number line to start with. The number I'm starting with here, which is 0 0.86, Okay, so it's the smallest of the two numbers here. I write the smallest number at this end. And then obviously at the other end, I write the biggest number, which is 2.48. And now what I do is I start from 0 0.86. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create like a nice round number, maybe go to the next biggest whole number or the next biggest tenth or the next biggest hundredth, depending on the question. So in this particular case, I decided that I was going to go to, from 0 0.86 to 1.0. Now, a trick that I use, uh, you may have another trick to use, but uh, the one I use is I just cover up this decimal for the time being and use my number bonds to 100. Because I've got uh, 86 hundredths, all right, that means I'm going to the n next biggest set of 100. So what would I add to 86 to get to 100? Well, I would add 14, and then that would take me to 100, all right? And to help you out, I can draw my little zero there. And now you can see that if I just cover up that decimal point temporarily, I've got 100. So I'm going really from 86 to 100, I add 14, all right? So my first jump was 0 0.14, all right? That takes me to 1.0. Then my next hop is a bigger one because it's a whole it's a whole number. So it's 1.0 takes me to 2.0. And then in my case anyway, I can just add on the 0 0.48 to get me to 2.48. The next important thing to remember, besides remembering to write down the size of your hops and the numbers you're landing on, okay, you have to remember to do your column addition and make sure that your decimals are all in a nice straight line. There should never be a decimal anywhere else, left or right. They all need to be in a nice straight line. So you can see I've taken 8 and added 4 and that gave me 12, carried the 10, and then 1, 4, and another uh, 1 is 6, and then I write in my decimal, and then here I'm just going to write 1. Okay, so that's that a particular question. Let's do one from scratch and see how you do. All right, this is 3.81, subtract 1.33. So the smallest number is going to go at this end. So I'm going to write in 1.33. The biggest number is going to go at this end. Okay. And that's going to be 3.81. All right, so again, the first thing I'm going to do is um, uh, I can either take it to the next biggest set of 100, which if I cover up this decimal, that would make this number 133. So what would I add to 133 to get to 200? Or another uh, thing I can keep in mind is because 33 is smaller than 81, what I could do is just add enough to 33 to get it to 1.81 and then just add on whole numbers from there. So let's try that method. Okay, so if you're not really sure about uh, how to do that, I'm going to do it very simply, but if you're a little more confident, you can do it your own way. Uh, my first hop would be to add 0 0.07, okay, because I'm adding 7 to this 3. And that would give me 1.40, okay? Again, cover up this decimal. You've got 133. You add 7, we'll give you 140, okay? Right, so we've got 140, and we want to get to uh, 81, or sorry, 181. So I can do it. I'll hop here, and I can say, well, I'm going to add 0 0.40. One, and that'll leave me with 1.81. All right, so now 
my decimals match up. I've got 8, 1 here, and I've got 8, 1 here. So now I can just add on whole numbers. Well, what do I add to 1 in order to get to 3? I just add 2, so I can have a big hop. 2 there. And I add on 2.00, gives me 3.81. And again, I remember to write down my, do my column addition. So I write down uh, 2.00 plus 0 0.41 and 0 0.07. Make sure I write down my symbol, draw a straight line. That gives me 8. 4 and 2. So my answer is 2.48. 2.48 is my answer. Alright? Okay, so what I'd like you to do is have a go at these two. Alright, stop the video, have a go at these two, and then I will work out the answers and you can follow along with me. Okay, so pause the video and see how you do. Good luck. Okay, so we started with our smallest number here, which is 0 0.67. And we're going to our largest one here, which is 1.09. Okay, so I'm going to just take this to the near to the next biggest whole number okay so that's going to be uh, 33 so I add 0 0.33 and that takes me to 1.00 all right so now I'm going to from 1.00 to 1.09 it's actually quite a small hop but I'm gonna have to whoop, but I'm gonna have to draw it's actually only 0 0.09, but it's quite a big hop. All right, so now I just add these two hops up, and we'll find out what my answer is. So it's uh, 0 0.33 and 0 0.09. Add them up. Okay, 9 and 3 is 12. Carry the 10. 3 and 1 is 4. Decimal place there and zero, so it's zero point four two. Okay. All right, let's go on to the next one. Again, the smallest one, the small decimal number is two point seven seven, two point seven seven, and the large number is seven point zero four. Again, I'm thinking of this as 277, and I want to go with 300, so that means I add 23, or in this case, I go add 0.23, takes me to 3.00, and if I want to just get rid of all the uh, all the decimal um, places, then I can just add another four. All right, so I'm going to add 0 0.04. That gets me to 3.04. Now I can see that all the digits after the decimal are the same, so now I can just add whole numbers. And so I'm going to do a big hop to the end, and that's going to be plus 4.00. All right, so now I just add them up. 4.00 and 0 0.04 and 0 0.23 add them up okay 3 and 4 is 7 2 goes there and 4 is my whole number so my answer is 4.27 that's your final answer all right i hope you found this helpful good luck